Assalamualaikum and good day everybody. This is Miss Norina. How are you today? Well, I hope you are doing great and delighted to learn English. Please be ready with you a textbook and a workbook. Today we are going to move on to a new topic, Module 6, Food Please. Let's look at the textbook, page 55. Let's listen to an audio. Module 6 Food, please. Sing a song. Vocabulary Onions Lettuce Chocolate Biscuits Sugar Flour Next, let's listen to a song and match. Then, sing together. Look at your textbook, page 55. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. What can we make? There's some flour in the cupboard, there's some chocolate and some sugar. Let's make some biscuits, let's make some biscuits, let's make some biscuits now. There's some lettuce on the table There are some tomatoes and some onions Let's make some salad Let's make some salad Let's make some salad now Now, before we proceed with our today's lesson Let's look at some grammar First, there's some milk. There's some milk. T H E R E apostrophe S. If the thing is countable, you use there are some eggs. Now, let's look at the exercise. Look at your workbook, page 44. Look at the picture and write the answer. Please make sure you use uppercase. Next, exercise 2 on your workbook, page 44. Look and write what's in the fridge. Use there's some or there are some. So you have to choose. Either is it appropriate to use there's some or there are some. So you need to figure out. And the list of the things are here in this blue box. So the words here are bananas, chocolate, milk, cheese, cake, oranges, tomatoes, orange juice, apples, and chicken. The examples are given to you. Number one and number two. Look at number one. There are some bananas. How do you know you need to use there are? Because of the spelling for bananas is N with the letter S. Can you see here? Now, let's look at number two. There's some chocolate. Try to construct the sentences using there's some or there are some and these words will help you try to figure it out next please look at your textbook page 56 let's listen to the vocabulary module 6 smart kids vocabulary omelette peas Pancake Pineapple Peppers Coconut Next, 
Let's listen to the conversation. Look at your textbook, page 56. Activity 1. Listen and read. Mmm, I love my omelette. There's some cheese in my omelette. Is there any cheese in your omelette, Greg? No, there isn't. There are some peppers in my omelette too. Are there any peppers in your omelette, Greg? No, there aren't. There isn't any cheese and there aren't any peppers in my omelette. But there are some peas, onions and pineapple. Yuck! And for dessert, coconut pancakes. Yummy! Now, let's learn some grammar. Let's look at your textbook, page 57. Listen and read. Now, let's look very carefully at this question. Is there any cheese? If the answer is yes, this is how you need to write it. Yes, comma, there is. Full stop. Yes, there is. And if your answer is no, you must answer it this way. No, there isn't. Let's look at the second question. Are there any peppers? Look carefully. Are there any peppers? If your answer is yes, you must write it this way. Yes, comma, there are. Full stop. Yes, there are. And if your answer is no, you must write it this way. No, comma, there aren't. No, there aren't. You can stop this video and practice on your own. Now, let's do some exercise. Look at your workbook, page 45. Rearrange the letters to form the correct spelling. Okay, can you try that out? Next, the second exercise. On the same page, your workbook, page 45, look and write. Answer the questions. Anna's omelette. Okay, so these are the questions. So you need to answer the way that I told you just now. Look at the example here. Is there any cheese in Anna's omelette? If you want to know the answer, look back at your textbook, page 56, and reread the conversation. Next, the continuation of the exercise. So, Greg's omelette from number 5 until number 8. Can you try that out? Next, look at your textbook, page 58. Vocabulary, our world. Now, let's listen to the audio. Yogurt. Yogurt Jam Jam Noodles Noodles Soup Soup Cheeseburger Cheeseburger Crepe Crepe Next, look at your textbook, page 58. Now, let's listen and read. Street food. Cheeseburgers come from the US. They're meat with cheese in bread. They're very good. Souvlaki comes from Greece. It's meat with vegetables in pita bread. Sometimes there's yogurt in it.
And chips too. Noodles come from China. You can have noodles with meat and vegetables. You can also have them in soup. They're yummy. Crepes come from France. They're like thin pancakes. French people eat crepes with cheese. There are also sweet crepes with jam or chocolate. Next, let's look at your workbook, page 46. Look at the first activity, find and circle, then write. You need to look at the picture here. What is this? This is a yogurt. So, find the word here, circle it, and write the word right here for number one. And then you can move on to number two until number six. Okay, now let's look at the activity. Look at your workbook, page 46. Let's read and match. All right. Number one, they come from China. You can have them in soup. So, which picture refers to this statement? Underline. Later, I will share with you the answers. Number two, it comes from the US. It's meat with cheese in bread. Next, number three, it comes from Greece. It's meat in pita bread. Next, number four, they come from France. They're like thin pancakes. So I think you can figure out which is the suitable picture. Next, let's look at the answers. But first, please make sure that you have done all the exercises. Okay? Now, let's compare your answer with mine. Okay, for exercise 1 on page 44 of your workbook, look and write. Let's check one by one. Number 1. Chocolate. This is how you spell it out. Number 2. Lettuce. L-E-T-T-U-C-E. -T -T -E. Next, onions. O-N-I-O-N-S Number 4. Biscuits B-I-S-C-U-I-T-S -S. Number 5. Flour F-L-O-U-R So you can pause this minute to allow you to check your answer. Exercise 2. Look and write what's in the fridge. So you must... Construct simple sentences using there's some or there are some. Look at your workbook, page 44. So these are the answers. Okay, let's take a look at it one by one. I will read it out for you and you need to follow. Okay? There are some bananas. Number two, there's some chocolate. Please make sure at the end of every sentence, you need to have a full stop. Remember that. Number three, there's some milk. Number four, there's some cheese. Number five, there's some cake. Number six, there are some oranges. Number seven, there are some tomatoes. Number eight, there's some orange juice. Number nine, there are some apples. And the last one, there's some chicken. It is okay if the arrangement of the sentences are not the same as mine. If you have the correct sentence, then just take it. And I will accept it. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next page. Workbook, page 45. The instruction says, look and write. So, you need to spell it right. Look at number one. Omelette. Omelette. 
spell it. O M E L E T T E. Next, number two. What is it? Pancake. Yeah, it's a pancake. Pancake. One word. Next, number three. Peace. Peace. P E A S. Number four. Pineapple. Pineapple. P I N E A P P L E. Number five, peppers. Peppers. P E P P E R S. And the last one is coconut. Coconut. Okay, you can pause this part and practice to pronounce the all the words. Next, for exercise two, look and write. Answer the questions. Let's look at Anna's omelette. Number one, is there any cheese in Anna's omelette? The answer is yes, there is. So you can tick here. You can use pencil. Next, number two. Are there any onions in Anna's omelette? The answer is no, there aren't. Number three, is there any coconut in Anna's omelette? No, there isn't. Number four, are there any peppers in Anna's omelette? The answer is yes, there are. Next. Let's move on to Greg's omelette. Number five. Are there any onions in Greg's omelette? Yes, there are. Full stop. Number six. Are there any peppers in Greg's omelette? No, there aren't. Number seven. Is there any pineapple in Greg's omelette? Yes, there is. The last one. Are there any peas in Greg's omelette? Yes, there are. So you can pause this part to look at the answers. Compare them with yours. Next, on your workbook, page forty-six. This is the answer. Okay, very easy. Let's look at it one by one. Number one. Yogurt. Yogurt. Y o g h u r t. Next. Jam. Jam. J a m. Not j e m. J a m. Number three. Burger. B u r g e r. Please do not include the s because the picture shows. Only one burger. Number four, noodles. Noodles. N o o d l e s. Number five, soup. S o u p. And the last one is pizza. P i z z a. Okay, now for this part, read and match. Look at your workbook, page forty-six. Okay, so let's read together and compare it with your answer. Number one, they come from China. You can have them in soup. So which is the correct picture? Yes, C. Number two, it comes from the U.S. It's made with cheese and bread. The answer is burger. Next, number three, it comes from Greece. It's meat in pita bread. The answer is B. And the last one, number four, they come from France. They are like thin pancakes. The answer is A. 
I think that's all for now. Okay, a gentle reminder. Take photos of your work and upload to Google Classroom. That's all from me. Stay safe and stay healthy. See you next week. Bye.